welcome to another travel vlog from Greece and if you're just coming across the channel you're welcome but before I welcome you properly let me tell you what you are about to watch okay so I am going to be showing you a traditional Greek wedding this is a wedding from one of the Greek islands now something you need to know about the Greek or the Greeks or about Greece is that Greece is made up of so many islands they have also mainlands like Athens but they're made up of so many islands and the biggest island is called Crete Island as a non Greek speaking person you say Crete but for the Greek people the Hellenic people Elada as they call themselves they actually call it Crete okay so this is a Cretan traditional wedding and this is coming from the eastern part of Crete so I will show you how they do the wedding in the eastern part of Crete okay so right here I've been talking for a bit but I'm showing you the groom's family okay here's the groom's dad the sister that waved but I will still go ahead and your family friends and the sisters the groom's sister's husband okay so that's the in-laws and um, here is his beautiful mom okay what a wonderful and lovely family now well the way they start the wedding is this is actually the groom's home okay where him and his wife is going to be staying but right now he's here alone the wife is in a different place so he has the music band the playing traditional music i just wish i could let you listen to the beautiful melody that was being played here but because of youtube and its rules i cannot play because i don't own the copyright to the song that these traditional cretan singers or musicians actually actually playing and now another thing about the cretans or the greeks is that they play live a lot they sing live a lot okay they handle their instruments and everything okay so you hardly hear them play they do sometimes but mostly in weddings they bring people to play and sing and that's what they're doing here with the groom while the groom gets ready so here you can see the uh groom uh wearing this tilt green that color is called suit if it's not comment down below a tilt green uh suit and his parents or his family they're wearing deep blue okay so there's the sister the father wearing a blue suit the mom wearing a blue lovely gown and you can see his friends all around him cheering him up and all of that so that's what's going on right here with drinks on the table snacks something to snack on while he gets ready and waits for a signal from his bride then he's going to proceed now they're modernizing this whole thing a little bit also in greece but some people love to keep it traditional traditional so that's what this groom and his bride decided to do where they're going to walk from his home to the church now the greeks majority of the greeks are orthodox okay they also have other but my those are like the majority are orthodox okay so they're going to walk from here his home to the orthodox church now they always have little churches everywhere they have the big ones but they also have the little ones and there is a church close to his home so that's what everybody's here getting ready cheering him cheering him up and um, preparing for him to go and receive his bride and they will proceed into the church and then the priest will now start the uh, the wedding so that so i'm going to carry you throughout the process i will give you as much clip but let me pre-inform you that a lot of the clips you see shake i apologize because i had to hold my phone on one hand wearing high heels walking around you know try not to disturb people like excuse me, excuse me and all of that and also here i was filming from behind because his uh, photographers were around also so i didn't want to get in front so i don't block the real shoot so i was behind so here also you can see the music uh bands that he brought they are playing the sound they're singing and everybody is singing along and you can see the groom his dad his mom his sister and his friends okay behind him and every everybody so these are people from the groom's side walking with him to the church where he's going to wait for his bride to arrive so that's what you are seeing right here that being said this wedding is holding in the eastern part of 
Crete Island, Crete, which is uh, the biggest island, like I said earlier. And this place is called Sitia. Now, Sitia is a very beautiful, beautiful place. I was actually going for the first time. I was actually visiting Sitia for the first time, even though I live in Greece. And not just that I live in Greece, I also live in the same island, Crete Island. But the Cretan island, the, 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 the Crete Island is big. So if you're staying in the west, getting to the, the eastern part is like so many hour, hours drive. But yes, we had to make it to this wedding because it is a family wedding. So we had to drive all the way. So if you've not even seen that vlog, go back and watch the vlog that I over I have posted already. If you're seeing this one now, that means the, the drive through from the west part of Crete to the eastern part of Crete. That vlog is up already. Back on track. So right here, we've arrived in the church. This is the Orthodox Church. This is what the Greek Orthodox Church looks like. Sorry, I didn't uh, show the building fully, but I have it in another vlog if you want to see. Okay, so right here. He has gotten the signal that his bride is on her way. So you can see the family, that's the uh, the groom, his father, mother, sister, uh, and family members are standing there to welcome the bride. Here comes the bride. Tan, 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 tan. Okay, so am I being too dramatic? <laughs> I'm just excited. Okay, I forgot to mention the bride's father is also a priest. You can see him here, the one on black, dressed like a priest. If you are an Orthodox person, then you can recognize him from his outfit that this is what the Orthodox priest they wear. Although they have the other colorful ones that you will see further on in the video. But yes, this is her mom the bride's mom and dad handing her over to the groom and you can see her beautiful and i just love love like i love how this couple really put so much thought into their wedding i love the color they chose which is very similar to the olive and if you know olive is very important to the greeks and is, is very significant thing to the greeks i love the color they chose and also i love the style that they made the clothes it really looked like the ancient greek outfit now the little princesses and also uh, the little princesses too if you watch closely you will see that some of them are also dressed in the traditional asian greek outfit and i really really love and appreciate that i love when people uh, appreciate their culture tradition and not tweak too much when they're trying to do a wedding or whatnot just to you know do what society wants people to do i love that this bride and groom kept it you know traditional and now adding to uh, what was going on here this is actually the first wedding i'm seeing holding outside the church premises okay normally it's always inside the church like well let me not say normally the ones that i've seen all the weddings i've attended so i was really excited to see one that was a bit different because it was a beautiful day though it was windy it's an island you know so get a lot of wind in crete island but then it was done outside and i really love that and the way the orthodox churches are built they always make like a little cement all around the building round okay you can always walk around the building and you can sit all around so people you had areas to sit down if you want to sit and it was just a one hour service it's a quick one it wasn't going to take too, too much time so a lot of people stood okay and all of that and i love this beautiful decoration with the um the photos of jesus christ mother mary and all you know the orthodox the catholic the, uh, the orthodox orthodox in general you know they always do a lot of photos kissing and all of that so yes i love this beautiful decoration now you can see one of the priests picked up the photo and uh he's taking it to them to kiss that's something i see they do a lot in the weddings here the bride and the groom will always kiss that uh, photo and uh, then they will proceed to now say the stuff that they have to say in the language okay so at this point the priest is trying to get the couple to stand where he want them to, where they're supposed to stand and then get every other person to stand behind them and while and then they'll get ready for the priest to start saying what um you know start officiating or you know and um all of that so you can see him just gesture 
that people should go right behind and something else i want to add is that there were lots of priests available for this wedding also and i think that's also and uh, that being said, I already told you about the outdoor wedding. And, uh, I just think it's really beautiful since it's just a lovely day. The sun was setting. And this was an evening wedding. The Greeks do a lot of weddings in the night, actually. Actually, by the time they are finishing the church service and then going to their reception ground, it's all already moved up outside that's what a lot of greek weddings what they do just very few weddings you see hold during the day or morning and afternoon and all of that but majority that i have personally attended is always a night wedding so this is actually evening time so if you see the sun is already setting it's beautiful it's windy it's not hot and it's it's absolutely amazing all right so you had a little bit of how the greeks how the what the priest have to say i know you cannot understand what they're saying but yes that's the word going on but i cannot play all of it and all of that because there's a whole lot of stuff they had to read to them or sing to them and you know say to them and all of that but i just added a little bit of a clip so you can see everybody standing and listening while they take their vows and hear everything that uh, god wants them to do and what they shouldn't do and all of that so that was what was actually happening there and um also something else i want to add is the fact that i really love the place they chose for their reception but sorry i did not capture that because a lot was going on when we arrived there like i said it's a family wedding we know the people that are getting married and we were moving along with some old older couples so I wasn't able to capture when we arrived there the entrance and all of that but I I was able to get some of the dance which you will not see on this vlog but I promise you see it in the next one okay cuz dancing clip is not this is already this video is already long enough and I didn't want to just compile everything to make it too long cuz some persons might not be able to watch it till the end okay so right here the done the priests are done and then people are now you know giving them a handshake congratulating them and all of that so you can see so this is the grandmother and the grandfather of the groom okay so this these are the parents of the groom's mom okay father and mother of the groom's mom you see the lady wearing blue here yes that's her father and mother so the groom's grandparents and trust me the grandfather is about 95 years old and the grandmother is 85 and they are sound and doing well. I was so happy when I got to their home. You know, we sat down with them. They entertained us. We were all talking. It was fun. And I love, I was like, God, the first prayer I said, I said, God, 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 bless us with long life like this couple bless us with good health sound and everything like this couple even as old as they are they still got their vibe they still could walk they still could do things by themselves their their brain is still intact you know they they, they were still sound their mind like I was like, God bless us all with long life. Yes, I know I digressed a little bit, but I needed to add this. Okay, that couple I just showed you. Is, you can you believe the man is 95 years old and you see him standing there with his walking stick? Come on. The woman is 85 years old and she is like 
just forget it forget it i could just talk forever about those two old couples okay and um what a lovely family right here his friends are also coming ar ar along shaking and greeting and everybody is just you know talking you can see he, uh, her parents are also there her mom her dad and everyone else I, I really i really do love the wedding and let me know what you think is this similar to what you do in your own country comment down below if you're watching um i know a lot of people ask a lot of questions and other vlogs i posted people ask me questions like uh, how is the greek language so i believe you've heard a little bit of how the greek language sound okay from what you heard there and something else that another question I always get is, uh, okay, how do the Greeks do things? So I was like, okay, whenever I, I attend an event or something that I feel I should put out there, I will put it out there so you guys will see and understand a little bit about the Greeks. Because I see a lot of people are really curious, wants to know, you know, what's up with Greece. You know, even if you've never been, you've heard something, the mythology, the history, and all of that. So a lot of people are curious to know what is the most modern day Greeks like or uh, if they've not been able to visit the country yet they just want to know and I believe from watching these videos on this channel and if you are watching this for the first time then please subscribe turn on notification bell so you'll be seeing more videos from other parts of Greece because we never know you never know where the wind is just going to blow you and you will have to just film something to put out there okay so here are two other priests that were sitting by the side i decided to also film them and add because i was like okay since the other three priests in front are in the video why why not i saw these two behind i said to film them but once i wanted to someone told me something that's like the greek priests don't like to be filmed so if you are greek you're watching this video comment down below and tell me why the greek orthodox priests they don't like being filmed is it true is it false i do not know i was hearing that for the first time anyways here right here the bride and the groom they're having their first toast okay and getting ready to hit the dance floor okay time for their first dance now i love the spot where they picked for their reception this was at the edge of the island okay when we checked it in the map and all of that like it is the edge like the end we could see the water from where this was close to the beach the olive trees lined up the place was so beautiful i was like oh my goodness but well, so many things on my hands i couldn't pull out the camera to film even a one minute video um anyways that being said you're seeing the place at night now it's already dark uh, but when we arrived it was still a little bit bright if i was able i would have but i couldn't anyways uh for the moment now they're taking their first dance everyone is sitting around watching them